Marley, we're back with Maisie. Hey, yo, my precious angel. So what, what you guys have to realize is part of what's wrong is the dynamic. And part of the reason, you know, and it's not just you guys, uh, that, that she never stopped the jumping, all your turning away and ignoring and all that, because that's just the symptom. You can't cure the symptom when the disease is still there. If the disease is still there, you're going to still have the symptom. So by trying to just treat the symptom, it doesn't go away because you're not looking at the bigger picture. So we're going to be able to use this collar to make her down, and we're going to replace, and, and that's what these, you know, to me, these behaviors don't understand. We don't just do various things to make them indifferent. We have to replace behaviors with other behaviors. We have to replace, you know, a uh, gremlin on a leash with the dog that, that goes down. It, it can't just be now she just walks along when she sees a bike or whatever. We have to be proactive and replace that behavior, but it's all going to work absolutely perfect, and she's going to have some of the cutest slow-mos ever with her little ears flying. In fact, that's my new dream is to have the video of her and the bulldog side by side. Crystal's like, this girl's got a new dream every day. <laughs> so great. Yeah, it was a great day. And I'm going to start training my great day. <coughs> Maybe, oh, that would be like a good movie, that movie Outward Bound. It could be this one, her, and the great day mm. together. Taking no. on the world. Yeah. And thimble, we have to throw a thimble in there. <laughs> anyway, so... She already understands that the page is me communicating. We have got to let her know the leash and the page are always go together, girl. Always go together. So to me, this dog is still hinky. I don't trust her about putting that collar on. So you need to fill me in. That had to have happened somewhere. If you told me all these trainers came over, oh, she sees a squirrel, and were able to just put a collar on her, be skeptical. Anyway, so I've got my very, very thin leash. I've also got my bulldog who might have to get locked up. And what I wanted to understand, you know, to me, putting her on the leash makes her nervous. Standing my pager at every time. We've got to have the subcast in order to be successful to make these dogs that pull on the leash. Because when she starts to lunge or whatever, that involves making the leash tight. The subtask is, I don't want the leash made tight. I had to shorten it for the video because I had to change it to a word because there wasn't enough room. They're still looking for the cat. <laughs> we'll go help them. This little dog could probably find a cat. <laughs> it's to find a cat tight. Uh, I changed it to, I don't want the leash made tight. Which is the same <laughs> thing. So, right then... I really shouldn't have been looking at her. I, I was looking at her, but I'm going to tell you, I made it a point to have a very blank and different look. <laughs> oh, and we're still waiting to hear from UPS about our gate. That they claim they didn't back into. <laughs> I'll be it. I've got impressions. <laughs> I watch uh, Forensic Files on Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday afternoon, I always catch Forensic Files. That's what they do. Some guy had four different tires on his truck. <laughs> And they've got to have a sense of consciousness about when that leash is on. I'm telling you, it's like really highly trained horses. When you put the bridle on, you know, when they're trained, they have certain reactions. They don't just start running away with the people. And occasionally, I just have <laughs> that 
that leash is getting tight, I'm adding that page on. And this collar does have a little bit of an audibility to it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, talk to Sister Greg from Einstein, our new collar, or I should call it Educator, is on the way. Ooh. And then I said, uh, because now I'm in an open relationship with Dog Trucker. That's right. It. Right. <laughs> uh, so he was like, you sent the collar. And I said, you know, I need two or a two dog. I mean, yeah. around here, we don't just do a video of one dog. <laughs> I don't know what he thinks he's dealing with. <laughs> oh, look at that little squirrel making his nest. Look at him. Oh, she spotted him. Let's see if she'll take off that dog. Maisie! Mm -hmm. But that's how, oh, that was that one guy uh, that was on the sport dog thing. I'll put that in slow mo. I, I could have added my nick right there, but I'm gonna tell you that's that's laying the groundwork for this is what happens. And if you guys try to say she never chased a squirrel, I'm definitely not buying that one. All right, guys, we'll be right back with recall. Bye, girl. <laughs>